Palestinian President Abbas delivered his bid for statehood before the UN Security Council. How much of this is a red herring for the Council? So in my opinion it will take a certain time and uh, during this time definitely certain behind negotiation and backward negotiation is going to take to take place. Uh, hopefully we'll get uh, somewhere. Uh, uh, in my opinion the best is to avoid any, any veto in this. Uh, I wish all the best to the Palestinian and we as you know we as Lebanese we are supporting the Palestinian recognition at the level of United uh, Nations. Accepting a Palestinian state in the United Nations would mean that all countries would have to affect, accept Israel as a Jewish state, recognize them as a Jewish state. Are you prepared to do that? No, I don't see any, any, any direct relation between uh, recognizing Palestine as state and, and, and uh, what you are, whatever you are saying as, Palestine, as Israel as Jewish state. And now we, it's uh, our plan is to, to support the Palestinian. Now for the last 60 years, we are recognizing and we are talking about Palestine and nothing done for the Palestinians. And the Palestinians, they are sacrificing day after day. What we are looking for, a comprehensive peace. We accept the existence of Israel and we, would, we, we wish one day we will have a Palestinian state besides the Israeli state. But you also want to avoid that veto. You want to avoid any residual violence that happens in the region. How do you reconcile that? The reconciliation, it is in fact in, in the hand of United States. Today the veto, the warning of a veto is coming from United States and they declared this. So uh, please what we, are, what we are calling that we have to understand the needs of the Palestinian people. What about the refugees? Would Lebanon ask them to go back to Palestine or would you keep some in Lebanon? We wish that they would go back to Palestine, but definitely we cannot settle the Palestinian in Lebanon in a different uh, time period. Um, would you support a resolution that imposes sanctions against Syria, if, if that's what the Arab consensus decides? Well, we were very clear, we never vote for any sanctions against Syria due to, our, uh, to the composition of our community and to, due to the relations, the historical relation between Lebanon and Syria. You voted for a resolution against Libya, so you're saying you have to look out for Lebanon's interests. Yeah, we look to Lebanon interests, we vote for, for Libya and we were the leader in the, resolu in the resolution uh, for con concerning Libya because this will not affect our national unity. But in Syria, we have effect on our national unity and we'll take our national unity as priority. Let's talk about the tribunal of the assassination of former uh, Prime Minister Hariri. How much room do you personally have to maneuver? Uh, what I'm looking is always management by objective. My objective, it is the interest of Lebanon. At this stage, I believe the interest of Lebanon is to contribute fully to this tribunal by respecting Resolution 1757. Prime Minister Netanyahu said in his speech that the Security Council is being run by a terrorist organization, meaning Hezbollah. What did you think when you heard him say that? Definitely, they, they have to say whatever they want, but, but in fact, it is not true. Uh, the Security Council is run by today. The presidentship is, is the Lebanese, and we know we are, we are a complete independent uh, government where we are represented by Hezbollah. We ha we are, uh, they are part of our society. There's been talk in Washington that the U.S. should impose sanctions on uh, Lebanese banks to punish Hezbollah, um, which the State Department designates as a terrorist organization. What would that do to Lebanon? Uh, I discussed this today with, the, with uh, Secretary Clinton, and she was so positive about Lebanese banking, and I am sure there is all rumors, it's not, there are rumors and there is nothing. We have a very clean banking sector. Yeah, some people say that you're Syria's man, that you're Hezbollah's man. Is that fair? Let them judge me on my performance. That's what I say. Today, I am Prime Minister of Lebanon. I'll do the interest of Lebanese people. Some people say you're walking in an impossible tightrope. Even the columnist Michael Young said you're a dead man walking. What do you, what do you think when you read something like that? I'm still walking, so I am not dead. Since I am walking, I'm not dead. So I'm, I'm walking, I have, I have a hope, because I, what I'm doing, I'm doing this sincerely from, from deep of my heart for the interests of Lebanon.